So how can we apply this idea of, of considering multiple perspectives uh, uh, to a concrete case? Very, very recently in the past couple of weeks, uh, uh, many of you might have heard about the turmoil that uh, Spotify has been into. So I'll, let's just go through the story to show you the difficulty of the situation. So Spotify, Swedish company, uh, uh, mostly about streaming uh, uh, audio, and that was founded uh, uh, in 2006 from memory uh, uh, with uh, uh, two people, one of whom is uh, CEO now, Daniel Eck and Martin Lorenzen. Uh, it's now the world's largest music uh, streaming uh, 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 provider. Um, everything was going and is going financially quite well for, for Spotify. Uh, their, their business model is a, a freemium one uh, uh, where they try to have more and more users, free users and uh, uh, paying users who have access to additional uh, uh, features in exchange of paying a fee. Uh, uh, as I said, it's now the, the largest uh, um, music streaming service uh, uh, with almost 400 million monthly active users uh, and more than 150 million paying subscribers. Uh, um, these numbers are just a few months uh, old. So it's a company that's doing right now quite well. And it signed uh, a year and a half ago, uh, it was mid-2020, uh, um, uh, uh, um, a deal with Joe Rogan, uh, uh, who some of you might uh, uh, know, who's uh, a U MMA presenter. Uh, 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 he was and he is still a stand-up comedian, and now he, he has a very, very successful podcast. According to the Wall Street Journal, the deal between Joe Rogan and Spotify was uh, um, above a hundred million dollars which would uh, put the entire library uh, uh, of the past 11 years uh, um, exclusively on Sp Spotify. He is one of the most successful, uh, uh, most successful uh, uh, podcasts uh, uh, um, uh, in Spotify and even before that, highly influential. Um, he, in he even invites a wide range of uh, 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 guests um, from politicians to uh, scientists to academics to uh, 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 pop star, uh, uh, cultural icons. Um, but within that, he has a tendency also to invite people that are highly controversial, um, which led uh, um, uh, uh, a few weeks ago 270 scientists and academics to write an open letter to Spotify uh, in which they shared concern over, and I'm quoting them here, false and societally harmful assertions on the Joe Rogan experience and asked Spotify to establish clear and public policy to moderate misinformation on its platform because Joe Rogan had invited uh, a, a guest that he uh, presented as uh, uh, doctors and scientists, even though they were sharing uh, uh, high skepticism about uh, COVID-19, the treatment, the vaccine, um, etc. Uh, 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 and these scientists were worried about the impact it could have. This led Neil Young, uh, uh, um, a very famous uh, um, musician uh, uh, to threaten at the end of January, so we're talking about two weeks ago, uh, uh, to remove his music from Spotify because uh, uh, he was asking them to remove the podcasts. Uh, he was followed very quickly by Johnny Mitchell, uh, uh, another uh, uh, music icon, uh, uh, how she was supporting uh, Neil Young in his uh, claim. Uh, Spotify refused to remove the Jorgen experience. As you can imagine, they just signed a deal uh, uh, 18 months ago of $100 million. Uh, it's not that easy. Um, and recently, Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle, uh, well, now uh, uh, his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, uh, uh, signed. They, they, they have a multi-year partnership with, with Spotify and uh, they said that they were expressing concerns uh, uh, over COVID-19 misinformation on the platform. Um, as a result, the, 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 the stock of Spotify dropped uh, 12 percent uh, on a week-on-week -week, uh, uh, basis and which means that they lost four billion dollars in market capitalization 
uh, and this loss uh, last week went up to seven billion dollars loss in market uh, uh, capitalization. Uh, you had reaction uh, uh, such as uh, the independents uh, um, uh, uh, asking why Spotify would choose Joe Rogan over these other artists over this concern. One of the answer from Spotify was to uh, change its uh, rules on the platform uh, uh, and how the uh, issues related to COVID-19 would be uh, discussed. So they did update the, the rules. In the meantime, Jorgen uh, invited Jordan Peterson, who uh, uh, has often shared some very controversial uh, and narrow-minded views about uh, ethnicity and race, which led Trevor Noah, a famous comedian who has a very successful TV show to react. Every that everything uh, uh, piled on to uh, now you have a campaign on social media about deleting Spotify with the hashtag delete Spotify. So all of that piled on very, very quickly. And now if you're Daniel Eck and you're the CEO and founder of Spotify, someone who was named uh, uh, regularly one of the most influential person in the music industry, you were running a nice music streaming service. And all of a sudden, you have to deal with issues of freedom of speech, being accused of censorship, being accused of being uh, uh, collaborating with uh, um, COVID-19 deniers and vaccine and anti-vaxxer. Um, you have some people deleting your app, but it's likely that if you, they had canceled Joe Rogan, another part of their uh, customer base would have deleted the app either. So you were just streaming music and you were very happy in your corner and all of a sudden as a company you have to have to to deal with the pandemic the considerations and analysis about the pandemic you have to deal with racial tension in the us you have to deal with issues of re freedom of speech and you have media who are asking you if you're a to totalitarian company that all of a sudden you were just running your company and you have to deal with very, very big questions that require to have a very broad ability to, to consider and to think in this situation. So the idea of considering multiple perspectives is, is not just uh, about debating politics in your corner. And considering multiple perspectives here in the case of Spotify and what they're going through over the past 10 days is uh, uh, um, highly necessary skill. So anyone who wants to be a critical thinker needs to join the conversation, not to say, oh, I'm for Joe Rogan or I'm for Neil Young. It doesn't mean that you don't have a position in the end, but you have to think about the ramification of your position if you're thinking as a critical thinker and as a strategic thinker who's running Spotify, for example. There's no easy solution to that situation. You cannot give up on a $100 million deal. You cannot just cancel Joe Rogan and then you're going to have a, a loss of his customer base. But canceling Neil Young and having Neil Young leave also means that you have a hashtag delete Spotify campaign. So critical thinking is a key tool here to engage with very concrete situation. It's not about pros and cons. It's not about just freedom of speech. It's about finding a way to engage strategically in this situation. And that's the idea behind considering multiple perspectives.